Hello, welcome, thanks for watching. We're gonna do some iPad tips and tricks, kind of shortcut type things. The first one is multitasking, which four or five fingers you can either drag up to reveal the bar or you can double click the home screen. I usually use four, four fingers, just go up like that. And what that does is it brings up all your most recent apps here on the bottom and you can drag it to the right and it'll reveal your audio controls and has your brightness contrast, which is really handy to use as your um, mute on and off or your rotation lock depending what you have that set to and it has your volume your airplay or bluetooth if you have that on right now and it has your most recently played audio whatever app you use for the last audio and this over here you just it just keeps going until you're, the last time you minimized or shut down your apps which you can do by touching and holding and it reveals a little minus you can just click those and so if an app starts acting weird you can just do that and restart it basically and another gesture is if you have something open app open and you want to minimize it you can just pinch with four or five fingers and it closes it same thing or you can multitask between apps like with four fingers you just slide to the right or the left and that's just a quick way to switch between apps um the side switch there's a switch next to the volume button where you can right now i have that set to rotation lock so you can do that but also if you go to your settings you can change that to uh, where is it? lock rotation the side switch for mute or lock rotation if i change that to mute back down here this will be the lock rotation now but I use the lock rotation much more so I just have that up there and you also can turn your multitasking gestures on or off from the same place in your settings um, another handy trick is when you're typing um, you can double tap the space and it'll add a period and turn the caps like the single caps lock on for the next word you type so that's pretty handy also when you're typing you can touch and hold and it'll bring up the Spanish symbol or whatever and you can use that's just a ton more letters you can do and also if you just want one number you can just touch and drag the number and let go on that number and it'll go right back to the keyboard so you don't have to do that just save you a couple touches um another thing you can do is this is from Safari. If you want to add it to one of your favorite sites, you can hit this arrow coming out of the box button thing and add to home screen. And it'll it add, you can change what you want to call it, but it'll add it to the home screen. So every time you touch that, it'll go to that and refresh it. Um, another trick is with the lock screen and the home button, if you click those at the same time and it'll take a picture of your current screen which will then just save it to your photos which there it is so that comes in handy a lot uh, I think that is it so and if you're on like your last page you want to go to the home page you just get that once and it takes you to your home page one other thing is searching if you want to go to a specific app but you have a ton of apps to sort through you can just type it in just look for whatever you want if you want to look for a temple run and that'll come up right there or you can search wikipedia in the web if you have wi-fi or 3g and that is that thanks for tuning in i'll see you guys next time